Good morning guys, as you can tell I just woke up. The video that I'm making is comparison between pre-workout and workouts on an empty stomach and pre-workout and workouts on a completely full stomach. So with these two things, I'm going to be making a comparison at the end of the video, seeing which one I like better, the pros and cons about both. Today we're starting off with no food, just pre-workout and heading straight to the gym. We're going to go smash some legs and then tomorrow I'm going to be on a full stomach. So let's go smash this pre-workout and get to the gym. I do this quite often, taking pre-workout on an empty stomach. I know I'm going to be tweaking. Holy fuck, I'm literally just chilling in the car, just waiting. Oh my god, bro. I'm getting hit with a fat ass wave of pre-workout. Um, oh shit, I can't even think. I'm getting smacked right now. This should be happening, and I have to be taking a fat sometimes, so I go take a in the restroom. That's usually what I do, and I be going through in the bathroom because I be literally tweaking. I'm sure you guys can tell the personality difference between before and after. The pre-workout's been smacking, I feel focused. Another thing when you work out on an empty stomach is you gotta think about it like this. You're in a fire or flight mode and it keeps you more focused as if we're in your, when you come on a uh, full stomach, you tend to be a little sloppy and, and a little lazy with it. Definitely have a big burst of energy, but usually as I'm working out, I tend to drop fat. I feel like that's because of the lack of food. But the first few pushes are cool. We got two more sets with drop sets with this. Moving on to squats. Probably just do two plates and rep it out. Okay, it is the morning time and we got four eggs and one piece of toast. Nothing too crazy. I'm not gonna get extremely full with this meal, but I mean, we all know how we get when we get overly fed, you know? We get super lazy and tired, so. This is a nice meal. I'll be like content with this meal. I think that'll be perfect for the video. So let's go ahead and eat these little chicken babies. Today is chest day, by the way. Yay! We'll be hitting chest. So hopefully we get a big fat juicy pump. <laughs> Ah! <sighs> and I don't have no one to get hype with right now, man. I'll get hype by myself. Let's get in the whip. Turn on some loud music like always. Get in this shit. <laughs> Woo! Alright guys, I just hit the pre right now. Drinking and driving with pre-workout. It's a skill. It's a skill to knock one back while you're driving. So we're gonna see how I feel with a fed stomach. Alright, so far I'm feeling good. The pre actually hit, which I'm kind of surprised about. But I think that's because I didn't have a lot of carbs and it was mostly eggs, one little piece of toast. I'm pretty sure that's why. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> one tense, drop set in the 70s. Can't even lie, those one tens are feeling cake. <laughs> We're gonna get a little three minute, three minute rest and go back into it for set two. Hit three sets of this. Probably go straight to incline. <laughs> All right, so let's go over the best way to work out. Fasted. Fed. Fasted. For sure, number one, the pre is gonna hit you like a train. So if that's what you're after and you just wanna feel like a stim junkie crackhead, be my guest. Number two, this is a good way to lose weight and fat. Number three is you won't feel like an absolute schlob and kinda lazy from eating. You'll feel very alert. But a con this can come with is if you're not really doing this right and you're going, you're fasted for like maybe like 15 hours, a lot of the times when you're working out, you're gonna, it's gonna take away from your muscles. You're gonna start to see a decrease in strength. So, and even a decrease in pump too. Your pumps are kind of trash. So that one go at your own risk, but let's go over pros and cons when it comes to being fed. So the way I did it today is I had a good amount of protein. I had five eggs or four eggs. I had four eggs, but I had a little bit of bread. I had just a little bit, not too much. So I wasn't 
I didn't eat so much carbs where it made me feel sloppy and to the point where I just didn't want to be there and lazy. And I think that's why, one, the pre-workout hit. Two, I felt like I was able to sustain a pump and keep going throughout the gym. I didn't feel an absolute crash. I felt like I was able to go for a longer period of time. Whereas if I was doing the fasted state, it felt like, yeah, I had a big, huge jump because the pre-workout and I felt the pre a lot, but very fast I saw a decline in performance and a decline in energy. That being said, my winner is definitely going to be fed. But not fed like eating a whole crazy amount of carbs. Fed to the point where I did a little bit of carbs, maybe some protein, go to the gym. Maybe a banana and a protein shake. And you'll be straight with that. I think that's a very good way because not only are you just alert and still there and not feeling like a schlob, but you're going to feel the pre, it's going to smack you and you won't feel like you're just going to crash and burn out super fast. See y'all later. Ha <laughs> ha!